if we got past the reproductive barrier, would trans still mean anything to the average person? Seems like the holy grail to passing. What's the current state of bottom surgery and how close are we to perfecting it? Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand the question until I got to the end. So um, to, to translate for those who didn't have, probably most of you got it before we did. Um, but um, it is if, if a man really could become a woman, like it, if a human really could be a transsexual, um, would would this change how people viewed trans? And I guess maybe, but it's a non-issue because it's impossible. Because mammals can't actually change sex. Well, okay. A, it will never become a nothing, right? Even if every person was free to choose. Even if it were possible. Even if even transsexual if it were possible, mammals were possible, it would not be nothing because you're still... The the, sex the, there will be a question about, you know... Uh, were you born with it or is it Maybelline? <laughs> kind of that thing, um, right? Um, but <laughs> the, <laughs> yep, that's never going to be the same, is it? Um, but that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I can destroy as much of that kind of stuff as uh, advertising. I'm free to, to Absolutely. take go, it apart. Go at um, it. A, we're nowhere. We are nowhere with yeah. respect to actually being able to. Yeah. Generate. I mean, I know how you would do it if. Do you? Yeah, more or less. Which way? Both ways. Either way. If you were gonna do it, you would you basically. Write a manual. You would what? I'm about to. <laughs> okay. It's not gonna be all that. It's not gonna be operationalizable. Yeah. Okay. But what you would do is you would take cells and you would cause them to grow organs that you were lacking in the person who was going to transition based on sending them information if they had landed in the zygote with the other chromosomal complement, right? I'm not saying it's possible. I mean, we can't grow you a heart yet either, but... Um, Cyber genitals. Well, Actually, it's not... They have done that in... They have done that with hearts and they have not proceeded, but it has worked. They've done something. They're, we are Some, along the road. I don't think yeah. that they have created a functional heart. Certainly, we can't hook one up no, I properly. Think they did, and it lasted for a few years and then had issues. So then we so then that's my point is we didn't I'm not saying we didn't do anything that you could yeah. call that, but if we didn't successfully grow a heart that did the job. And that's yeah, you know, in part that's that's the telomere issue. It, it's right. going to be many different issues. Uh, anyway, not not worth going into. But the point is if you were going to try to do this, that'd be the way to do it. The other way to do it is the Harrison Bergeron way, which is uh, we wreck everybody's reproductive capacity, and it becomes uh, fetus farms. And I did see a We're news. We're already trying that, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. I saw the fetus farm thing showed up. Uh, well, I didn't know about the fetus farms, but we do appear to be wrecking everyone's reproductive, both interest and capacity, through a variety of means. Oh, absolutely, yeah. through a variety of means. Yeah. Yes, a multiplicity of ways in which we can take approach. the fun and utility out of sex. What is this, this fetus is... farm that you speak of? What is this fetus farm that I speak of? It, I did not actually explore it because basically I looked at it and I could infer I mean, the are entire. You serious? Yeah, that's that's yeah, a, that's a, right. that's an incredibly right. dystopian phrase. Yeah. Oh, uh, absolutely. What, what does it mean? Oh, it means uh, raising babies in artificial wombs. Babies, gametes that have been donated. Again, yeah, I didn't. I didn't I delve into the story, but it appeared to be uh, that artificial wombs are now sort of barely within technological range, and of course, this will create humans that have all manner of pathologies that you know we could um, have a great deal of dystopian fun predicting. Um, but nonetheless, that's where we are in history. Congratulations. Um, so you know. It, you know, I'm not saying pregnancy is fun. Some women seem to enjoy it. I didn't. I didn't. But either. I guarantee you, it's necessary to produce reasonable people. Yes. Oh, totally. Guarantee you. I don't know what all is going to be I, missing. I, I mean, I, I could point to some of the stuff that's missing. I don't know why all of it's important, but it's going to be necessary. I vividly remember you plunking yourself down in a chair at some awkward late stage in pregnancy. <laughs> Saying this is a fucking stupid way to reproduce. <laughs> I stand by that. Yep. I didn't argue. I also stand by. I, I stand by that. I also stand by my at that point entirely joking 
insistence that after the first one, you would have to carry the second one. Yep. And uh, you, being a biologist who knew that it was not possible. Oh, then, accepted or my ever, responsibility like, to carry. Absolutely. Yes. And then when it didn't happen that way, you're like, well, what, what can I do? No, what you don't know is that not a day goes by that I uh, am not grateful that men cannot <laughs> carry a human child. No, to be fair, you did a lot of carrying after they were oh, born. Oh, yeah, after they were born. Sure, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Right? But, Much easier. Uh, yeah, the before they're born thing, that just does not look like fun. No, no. You're not a seahorse, so you got a free pass. Thank goodness that I am not a seahorse for yeah. so many reasons. For so really. many reasons, yeah. No, yeah. but I, so I did some research on seahorses uh, for this uh, Substack post a long time ago. And uh, actually, the degree of, of like circulatory change in the follicles during male gestation, during what amounts to male pregnancy in seahorses, is so closely analogous to the follicular and cardio and, and circulatory changes in, uh, in female mammals, including human bodies when they're pregnant. It's, it's an amazing convergence. Like yeah. the, the, the male seahorses really can be understood to be pregnant. It's just that the, the zygote didn't start there. The zygote got moved by mom, and then she's like, it's all yours, bud. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, it's yeah. crazy. Um, I do wonder, you know, a lot of these uh, discoveries are more recent than we think. I do wonder at what point we got ourselves straightened out with respect to uh, who does what during seahorse pregnancy. Do we have any idea how long oh, we've understood this? I, I, it, I, I could, I don't remember. But I think it's not that long ago. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine doing that work on seahorse reproduction and concluding, okay, that one just I, gave birth. That's a female. Yeah. Oh, totally. It's got to be because I, I must have done. I must have miscoded that one yep. earlier in the experiment. Yep. Yeah. Totally. 